An artist from Sussex who paints endangered animals like lions and polar bears says that art and the natural world has helped her with severe anxiety. Sophie Green works at her studios near Seaford in Sussex but travels the world with her camera taking photographs of the animals in their natural habitat. Her extraordinary paintings are extremely detailed and as she told Peter Whittlesey she hopes her upcoming exhibition at London's Oxo Tower will draw attention to the plight of creatures at risk through cl climate change. She travelled to the Arctic and captured polar bears on camera. From her studio in Sussex, Sophie Green uses her images from the wild to create something super special on canvas. It's really eye-opening to see the sort of uh, ice pack melting and the glaciers melting and retreating right in front of my very eyes. And so that inspired the collection. Um, originally it was going to be a collection of polar inspired pieces, so polar bears and uh, animals in Antarctic like penguins and I kind of realised the interconnectedness of wildlife and nature and how ecosystems all over the world are affected by climate change so that kind of inspired the collection as it is now in permanence which is animals from all over the world. Sophie's exhibition is at London's Oxo Tower. She calls her style hyper-realistic. No detail is too minuscule. Thousands of tiny brush strokes are transformed into the marvels of the natural world. I gave up trying to count hours a long time ago. <laughs> I, uh, I, I used to try and count how many hours, but because it takes days and days of me sitting there in front of the canvas, I, I just couldn't count the number of hours exactly, but I paint every day and a piece will usually take between one or two months. But for Sophie, that time and concentration has helped her. When I was a child, I had selective mutism, which is a very severe anxiety disorder. So I was very, very introvert. I felt like I physically could not speak. And I, yeah, kind of sort of went it within myself and sought, sought solace in nature and wildlife. And now that I don't have selective mutism anymore, I'd quite like to give back to nature. And for Sophie, giving back is highlighting the fragility of the natural world. Peter Whittlesey, BBC South East Today, London. Wow, what a talent. Well, if you were out and about today, it certainly felt...